My hair journey starts in this two flat apartment building on Chicago's South Side. To help me tell this story, I called on the perfect people. Hi, mom and dad. Hey, boo. Hi, Akila. Growing up, my hair texture was misunderstood. Did you think she had bad hair? I didn't think she had bad hair. She just didn't have the hair texture that I had. From ponytails to beads, my tight curls were difficult for mom to manage. And the only way I could fix it was to hot comb it or perm it. Unknowingly, I internalized this idea that straight hair was good hair and Afro hair like mine was not. Marketing campaigns on TV and in magazines didn't help. The message really stayed with, I would say, a generation of black women in particular who really had to work to overcome the idea that something about their hair was just inherently inadequate. It's a message Dr. Jasmine Cobb, professor of African American studies at Duke University, has explored, writing this book, New Growth, about the history and representation of Afro-textured hair. Cobb says Eurocentric beauty standards created a perception that only straight hair was beautiful. And while George Floyd's death sparked a global racial reckoning, a quiet movement among black women was brewing. One way that we're redefining and reclaiming our identities is through our hair. Garner Loctician Maya Anderson says more black women are locking their hair, a freedom and form of self-expression. Just get up and go. Just get up, shake your hair, move on with the day. And in December of 2021, she locked my hair. Hi there, Lauren. Yeah, three years. But I've been covering them with a wig until I was ready to make the big transition on TV. We as black women, when we're thinking about showing up as our most authentic selves, there, it's so rooted in fear. I called Good Morning America's Janae Norman for this story because she made the natural hair transition on the national stage in 2018. And it takes courage. It takes strength. It takes resilience. So I'm going from this to this. It's hair freedom I've wanted for a long time. I'm just proud of you doing what you're doing and, and being, um, I don't want to say brave, but- Brave, yeah. you, you know, just, uh, presenting yourself how you want to present yourself. I chose Juneteenth to share this journey to hair freedom with all of you because it's Liberation Day for me. So moving forward, this is how you'll see me on TV. And I'm hoping to inspire women and little girls struggling to embrace their roots. I see you, sis, and I'm with you. Akila Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.